Now that the holidays are over, it's a great time to get back outside and maybe work off a little bit of those holiday goodies. And here to tell us about an event coming up today, and actually there's a series of them. We have the Snowshoe Scurry, and welcome Jackie Herring. Hi. And now, all right, Jackie, there's no snow, so but the event will go on, so let's talk about that. It's a trail race. Yeah, so when we have no snow, we just run on the trails, and this is our second year, and we do it every Saturday of January at 9 a.m. So you have a few different places. If you can't make the race this Saturday, then you could come a following Saturday. Yeah, the f um, we alternate between Mount Horeb mm -hmm. and Cross Plains. Okay. Um, yeah, and you have a chance every Saturday. You can come once. You can come every single time. Okay, now honestly, J.K., I never knew you could run with snowshoes on, so explain that. Yeah, so um, running snowshoes are just a little bit lighter and, and the, smaller. And this is an example yeah, of Yeah, I brought some for example. Okay. Yeah, and so they're just a little bit shorter and you can put um, a boot or a running shoe. We just okay. do a trail running shoe mm -hmm. and you just strap it right in here. Um, and they're lighter. They're a little bit lighter and just generally shorter so you're not going to be having all that bulk to carry when you're running. And now if people don't have snowshoes, you have rentals. Yep, we have rentals available. This brand, Dion Snowshoes, and we also have some um, Atlas Snowshoes, which is another brand, and they're gonna all be the running or the fitness um, variety. Okay, now if you're not sure if you can make a 10K, you have a variety of different um, lengths. Yeah, we have a 10K, a 5K, and a one mile for people who maybe aren't sure or have never done it before. Or and if we, you've got kids. Or if you've got kids, that's a great, great option. And we really get all ages. Last year we had from five years old to 75 years old. Wow. Um, so we, it's great for everybody. And also you could bring your dog. Yeah, yeah, so the races at Donald Park mm -hmm. allow for dogs. Um, you know, it's a Dane County Park, so it's normal leash rules and okay. all that. Um, but yeah, we have a dog dog segment you can do. And now if you sign up for a number of the, at least three of the races, I mm -hmm. think you also get a little apparel like you're sporting today. Yeah, so actually anyone who signs up for the 5K or 10K gets a oh, hat. Okay. Um, and then for the if you sign up for the three or five race series, you also get a fleece. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's good to know. So if there isn't any snow, the race will still go on. Yes. And you can go out and do the fun run. You have a little bit of refreshments afterwards. Yeah. And how do you recommend people dress for this? Well, I would dress as if you're going to go out for a run in the winter. Okay. And if, if you're not used to doing that or if you're planning on walking, you may need an extra layer or two. But some... Um, warm but breathable because mm -hmm. once you do get running you get really really warm okay you don't want to start leaving pieces out there in the woods right probably not yeah. all right well all of this happening the first race is this Saturday but then if you really are gonna wait for the snow there's one every following Saturday through the entire month of January yep. we're providing a link to the snowshoe scurry on our web channel NBC15.com thanks so much Jackie thank you